What's going on guys? It's Jared here bringing you some more of that Battlefield 4 gameplay beta. Said that backwards. Oh well. Uh, but I want to talk a little bit today about the Engineer class in Battlefield 4 and the importance of the Engineer in Battlefield 4. Um, mainly because, I don't know, I see myself using the Engineer class a whole hell of a lot in the Battlefield 4 beta. Um, in Battlefield 3, I didn't use the Engineer class at all, really. I, I Of course I used it some, but I didn't use it... Um, as much as I use the Assault class, or as much as I use the Support class, even the Recon. I think I had more uh, kills with the Recon, uh, more Service Stars with the Recon class than I did with the uh, Engineer class. And the reason because the reason of that is I do not like the guns in the Engineer class on Battlefield 3. The only two guns I ever used was the G36C and the... What's the other one? Fuck. ACWR, obviously. Um, and then you get into this game... And the weapons are actually not that bad. The MX-4 is actually one of my favorite guns in the beta. It took me a while to get used to, but um, I will have a review coming up later on this week. But uh, it it did uh, get me into the um, engineer class. I really kind of like it. it. You just have to shoot in bursts, and that is the key is burst fire with this damn weapon. Um, it's bad from long range, obviously, but from close range, it absolutely fucking destroys. Um, it, it really does. It destroys... Um, and, you know, I really think that in Battlefield 4, it's really important to have a couple, um, if not almost more than half of your team being engineer, uh, because there's so many vehicles, so many vehicles. This map is wide open. Um, there's not very many or very much, um, cover. Um, it's really wide open other than the building and the building I'm in right now, but, you know, it's really wide open, and the tanks, if you have a good tank driver on the enemy team, your team is fucked. Fucked. So bad. Um, and if you have a good tank uh, driver, then their team is fucked, you know? Um, and if the same thing for helicopters, you know, it really, it really is bad if you don't have any engineers on this game. Whereas in Battlefield 3, you could kind of get around it, you know, you had that one guy that would go engineer and could take all the aircraft out, and then you had C4 guys go and take the tanks out. But in this game, I think it is really important to be an engineer. Not only uh, is it really important to keep your tank out there, keep your Humvee out there, uh, keep your helicopter out there, but it's also important to take down enemy aircraft, enemy vehicles in general. And I think that's one of the main reasons why I've been using the uh, BH load out of this. Um, I've been using it so much that I, I kind of forgot how to use other weapons. And that's kind of sad because it's a beta. Um, I learned how to use the AK-12, which is another great weapon, and I'll be doing a review on that one as well. Uh, and it's in the medic class, and I quit using the medic class because I wanted to have um, some more variety in my gameplay. And right here I pick up the USAS-12 with frag rounds. This thing's a monster. Um, but I wanted to have some more variety in my uh, game style, or my gameplay and my uh, style of game. Um, and I wanted to be a little bit more aggressive, and I felt like with this gun I could be a whole hell of a lot aggressive. Uh, way more than I could be with the AK-12. I could literally get in your fucking face and like shoot your fucking mouth off and stuff. So I really like this weapon. I really like the engineer class in general in Battlefield 4. Um, that's pretty much all for me today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And leave in the comment section down below what you guys think. And yeah, yeah, have a great day. Peace.